Today, we're talking about putting pictures into both print books and ebooks. I've done this several times with my own books, and I've seen several writers here at the various writing groups having problems and asking about it. So I decided to make this video to help show you some of the issues, the problems, maybe how to overcome them. Some of this might be expensive, some of it isn't. The first thing we're looking at here is we're looking at a picture in a word processing program. And the processing program I'm using here is the one I always use, which is LibreOffice. It's a free program. And the reason I use LibreOffice is because it's very easy to format things. You put your mouse button down, you click on your right mouse button, and you can anchor the picture to a paragraph or a character or as a character. You can have the wrap of the text around it to have none, parallel, optimal, before, after, through in the background, and you can align the object left, centered, or right. Now here it's slightly off center. If I put it to centered, it moves a little bit. And now it is centered. And this is an inherent problem in doing it this way, is when you specially put it into a ebook, it's probably going to try and drift to the left. Pictures like to drift to the left in ebooks. Even if you ask them to be centered, they try to drift to the left. And the only way you can combat this is if you make wings on your picture. Here I have a sample picture. And this uh, picture is smaller than the book size. And the book size I'm doing this book in is five by seven. So it's five inches wide with three quarter inch margins. So it's uh, just under four inches for the picture area. And what you have to do is put it here and hit the select tool and build wings on it that fill in the space and these wings then make the picture and you crop it make the picture as wide as the actual page and then it can't drift that easily and you center it and it goes from margin to margin however i have found that in print books if you're not careful you can actually put the picture over the margin and when you do your preview in Kindle, your preview of your print book, it's going to give you an error message and it's going to tell you your pictures are bleeding into the trim area. You have to go through and resize them or replace them in the actual book as I'm doing here. You would have to resize or recenter these in the book. And as you can see, I didn't make the wings on this really big enough for this. The wings needed to be out to here. Or you need to resize the picture, but you can't go over any of your margins on that. And there's also a problem with where you anchor it to, paragraph, character, or as a character. When you align it, especially in ebooks, you can get blank areas. And I can show you this here right now with my previewer. You see this blank area down here? This blank area is caused by the text floating. The way they're making the ebooks today is the old Kindle books used to be fixed, and the ePublish 3.0 books are reflowable so that they work in different things like a telephone or a viewer or a tablet. Now, if we go to the next page, we see that picture. And again, there's a little bit of space up on the top there too. But there's the picture, and you see how it has drifted towards the left. It has drifted towards the left, which is typical in ebooks. And it's almost hard to get away from that unless you really put the wings on it, like I talked about, so that it's stuck to the margins. And in an ebook, it will stick to the margins, not in a print book. In a print book, it can go over the margins and go into the bleed area. But there you see the blank space there. And as I say, it's done because here we go. This is a phone. That's what it looks like with a phone. And you see how the picture has changed. The picture has changed and the blank area is still there, but the picture has changed as to where it fits within the area. If we go to uh, the Kindle e-reader, not only has the picture changed a little, it's now in black and white. If we go back to the phone and you look at it horizontally, this is what you're looking at. 
And again, we have space top and bottom, space top and bottom, and then there's the picture, space on the bottom. Smashwords doesn't like this to happen. They don't like you to have spaces between your lines in the book because they say that this is going to cause the pictures to flow or the book to have spaces like this. And in some cases, you can actually get an all-white screen when you hit a certain space that's big. Now, I'm going through here to another picture to give you an idea. Here, the picture is taking the entire frame. But if we go to our vertical thing, you can see that it's within the text. And again, it's pushed up to the left-hand side. These pictures love to flow to the left-hand side. And unless you want to put wings on them and spend your time putting the picture in here, or you want to stretch the picture so that it goes from edge to edge, and when you do that, you're going to end up with a picture. Well, if you made this picture bigger, uh, it would barely fit on the screen. If you want to take the time to do that, to put the wings on it, it's labor intensive, but it might help keep the picture centered. Otherwise, you learn to live with your pictures going to the left-hand side, floating. Remember, ebooks are based upon web pages, HTML, and HTML literally is like a glass of water with ice cubes in it. These ice cubes are your pictures and everything like that. And unless you put them into frames and frame sets, which doesn't work for an ebook, but on your website, unless you do that and then align them, you've got problems. So your pictures can end up floating all over the place. Uh, your text can end up floating all over the place, depending on how you size the website and what your ra uh, what your aspect ratio is in your computer as to whether or not you're uh, 2k 4k or in my case I'm 900 by 1200 or something like that so here again we see what it looks like with the tablet the space on the bottom in this case is the end of the chapter so this is something you have to face when you're dealing with ebooks with print books it can be a little bit different if you work on it and place it like I say if you align this properly align centered and then, then you still have to worry about what you're attaching it to because as your text flows that picture is going to move if the text flows upwards because you change the font size or you remove something during editing let's say you take out a whole paragraph during editing we don't know what's going to happen with this picture and we don't know what's going to happen with the paragraph after it and you may have to reassign the anchor and you may have to reassign the picture. This is something you have to do in your word processor. The way to get around this really is to possibly use a publishing program like Microsoft Publisher. But in Microsoft Publisher, it is a page by page deal. You create it page by page. That's how magazines are made. And that's how professionally typeset books are made. Whereas in a word processor, it flows from start to finish and your text flows and your pictures flow. Whereas when you do it in a publishing program, you're fixing everything in there. You're putting a box for the picture. That picture is then going to stay there. It is not going to move no matter what you do to it. And the text is not going to flow unless you copy and paste from another page or unless you edit it and then you make a new page and you keep going and you keep going. So you may have to cut and paste your text from this word processor into the publishing program. And the only way you get a publishing program usually is if you pay for it. You have to get the big Microsoft Word suite. You have to get the professional suite, which has publisher. And publisher will generate a PDF file, which is what you're going to need for making a print book. It will not generate an ebook file. Microsoft Publisher will let you export this as a HTML file, as a web page file, but your objects are in a fixed position. And this may not work with today's publishing programs. Today they want ePublish 3.0 reflowable. They don't want things fixed, so that may not work at all. When it's fixed, it may not work right in a phone. When it's fixed, it may not work right horizontally. So you have to test that out and see how it looks in the Kindle Virtual Previewer. And if it doesn't work well, you're going to have to go back to the doc file, back to your original word processing file, and live with the results that comes that way. 
Here I've got two different versions in which I made a PDF from this word processing program with the pictures here, and I re-anchored them, re-centered them, made them larger, and you can see it's better. But it's also flowing different now, too. There's now text below it, whereas there wasn't text below it before. But now it is centered. And on this other picture over here, I made it bigger. I enlarged that picture to make it sit better. You can see it here. There it is in my first trial, and here it is in my second trial. But again, the text is flowing. Now, as far as I know, that's not going to really happen in your publishing program. In your publishing program, you have to reformat everything, which is why the publishing program is a little bit harder to work with. But it keeps everything fixed where it's at. It's not going to change once you do it to the PDF file. So this is what you have to do and what you have to live with in putting pictures into the word processor and into it like a publishing program and what you face as we saw with, with the readers, depending on whether or not it's a tablet, a phone, whether or not they're looking at it horizontally or vertically. When you're doing it with KDP, they will take a document file. I have tried to do it that way. And I'll tell you, you have to do it over and over and over because when you go to the previewer, pictures are off the side, they're in the bleed area, they've moved from pages. In some cases, they've disappeared altogether. So the best way to do it is to generate a PDF file and then go through it page by page. And as you find a picture or something that's wrong, you realign it in the word processing program and then generate a new PDF file. And you keep doing this until you get a PDF file that you're happy with. So this is our look at putting pictures into both print books and eBooks and the obstacles you have to face. And as I said, probably your best resolution would be a publishing program, but that may cost you money and it may not do the job as well as you want either. So you may have to live with the little idiosyncrasies. If you found this program informative, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here, I discuss the nuts and bolts of writing and publishing. Editing, cover creation, copyrights, picking a self-publisher, making a website, putting books into stores, how to get your manuscript before agents and publishers. And I add new content all the time. So have a good writing day.